Hey guys, today we will make smooth crouch, uncrouch, and sliding in Unreal Engine 5 in first person. Let's get started. In our first person project, let's go to the content drawer and uh, blueprint folder. Open the first person blueprint. Now, this is the event graph, and we need to add uh, smooth crouch and uncrouch abilities. So, first we will select our character movement and look for crouch here we need to take this can crouch movement capabilities i guess and yes we want to be able to crouch so we will take this compile and save let's zoom in here and let's make uh, two custom events so custom event Add a custom event, we will name it start crouch. We also want to have one more custom event and we will name it end crouch. Now I want my character to crouch and uncrouch uh, when left alt is pressed. So let's look for left alt. When it is pressed, I want to start crouch. And when it is released, I want to end crouch. Let's select it and press C to comment. I will say left, alt, crouch, and crouch. I want this to be blue. Now we need a timeline as well. So let's make a timeline. And I will call it crouch timeline. Let's double click to open it and we will make the length about 0 0.2 seconds. And we will add a float track. We will call it alpha. There will be two keys and for the first key the time will be 0 and value will be 0. For the second key the time will be the length which is 0 0.2 and value will be 1. Let's fit it and make it smooth. So we will select auto to make the curve smoother. Compile, save, and back to the event graph. Now we have this timeline. Also, remember what we need to smoothly change something a combination of timeline and a LERP node. So we will connect alpha here. And uh, when we start crouch, we will play it. When we end crouch, we will reverse the timeline. Now we need to get our character movement and get the crouched half height and we plug it to B. Now there is one more thing that we need to do and for that we will need to go to our begin play event. So let's find. So this is our begin play event and here we need to get our capsule component and we need to get get capsule of height now we will promote it to variable and we'll call it old capsule of height we will need it later when we reset our variables now get back down there and this will be our A. This is the height of our, this is the half height of our capsule component. And we will be changing this. So when we update it, we need our capsule component again. We need to set capsule half height. The return value of our LERP node will be the half height 
and let's connect it to update of the timeline double click here to make it look better so this will smoothly go from this old capsule half height to crouched half height over 0 0.2 seconds and while we do that we change the capsule half height but we also need to do one more thing because ju doing just this will not to help our character crouch so when we finish we're going to need a branch so let's hold B on our keyboard and click to get a branch now we need to compare the direction equal equal we need this enum equal we need to do that when we finish the timeline double click and drag to make it look better so if our timeline was playing in forward when it finished that means we want to crouch so let's just type crouch that will make our character crouch and if it was not forward that means it was playing backward we need to uncrouch so that will help us smoothly crouch and uncrouch technically we could just plug these in to left alt and our character would crouch and uncrouch but that is not smooth because we want a smooth crouch and uncrouch we need to use a timeline like this and uh, change the half height of our capsule component over some time smoothly using a combination of the timeline and lerp node like we always do now let's select all of this and proceed to comment i'll call it smooth crouch and uncrouch let's compile save and go to our map plate let's see will it work so if we press alt yes the crouch is smooth if we release it the uncrouch is also smooth so that is how we can add smooth crouch and uncrouch to our first person games in unreal engine now let's also add the ability to slide so back in the blueprint now let's get some space and uh, right here we're going to make uh, a new variable so let's make a new variable that will be a boolean by default and uh, we will name it should slide and crouch it will be a boolean by default and it will be false by default now we need another custom event let's name it start sliding so first add a custom event we'll call it start sliding now we also need one more custom event and we will name it end sliding now end sliding will just be the end crouch event so let's just end crouch because uh, while we are sliding we also want to make sure that we are crouched we are not going to be sliding without crouching so yeah and uh, in start sliding event we are going to make a slight change that will be we will set should slide and crouch to true and then we will start crouch now i want my character to crouch and slide uh, when i press the r key so let's look for the keyboard event r and when it is pressed we will say start sliding when it is released and sliding so when it is released we will say end sliding let's uh, select it press c to comment we will say start sliding and and sliding custom events here we will say let's press c and sliding on r key i want this to be a little bit orange like this so some somewhere like here right now here we want to look for event on 
star pouch. We also need one more boolean variable. Let's make one more and uh, name it is sliding. By default, this will also be false. It will be used to track whether our character is sliding or not. Let's get it. And also drag from here and look for not boolean. So if our character is not sliding right now, and we also need this should slide and crouch variable, let's look for and boolean. So if our character is not sliding and we should start slide and crouch, let's. Uh, Let's hold B on our keyboard to get a branch. Then first we need to set these variables to true. So first we need to set this one to true is sliding to true and should slide and crouch to false. Then we need to get our character movement. and get ground friction we need to promote this to variable and let's name it crouch old friction then we need to set ground friction to zero so our character can slide smoothly now we need to get a character movement again and look for uh, max walk speed crouched. Promote it to variable and uh, rename it to old max walk speed crouched. Then we want to set max walk speed crouched. For me, 1200 works. You can try with a different number if you want to. Now let's select all of this and press C on our keyboard and comment start sliding on crouch if should slide and crouch. And I want it to be slightly blue. Now we also want to stop sliding, right? So let's look for event on end crouch. Now we want to check if we are sliding. So we will get is sliding and then we will get a branch. Then we will set sli is sliding to false. And we will get our character movement. Then we want to set the ground friction to crouch old friction. And we also want to set the max walk speed crouched to old max walk speed crouched. Let's select all of this. And we press C to comment and we will say stop sliding on uncrouch if currently is sliding. I want this to be blue as well. Now let's select all of this and press C. Let's say logic for handling crouch and sliding. Also, I want this to be blue as well why this is orange as well we might change it later so yeah let's compile save go to also let's organize our variables let's click on one of these and uh, in the category let's say crouch and slide let's drop the remaining variables here 
now our variables are also organized well the viewport and try if our character can slide so first can we crouch old key yeah the crouch is smooth and we can crouch now if we press r we can crouch and uncrouch but what if we are running if we press r we are able to slide and we can feel the friction is very like uh, little or zero i guess yeah and we can release the r key and get back to our running mode or press it and slide so that is how we can add smooth crouch and crouch and sliding in unreal engine 5 let me know in the comments if you like this and i'll see you in the next video